Alors, je rappelle aux gens qui viendraient tout juste de se joindre à nous sur concoursmontréal.ca que c'est l'épreuve, c'est pas une épreuve, mais c'est le concert avec orchestre de nos mini violini Et nous allons maintenant enchaîner avec Corinna Deng. Euh, elle a 15 ans, elle est originaire de Colombie-Britannique. Et Corinna a choisi d'interpréter le premier mouvement du quatrième concerto de Mozart. Accueillons chaleureusement Corinna Deng, mesdames et messieurs.
Corinna Deng, euh, mesdames et messieurs. Corinna, c'est un plaisir de t'avoir avec nous. It's a joy that you're here in Montreal. It's not your first time because you were here before for the uh, Canadian Music Competition. And elle vient d'une famille où on aime énormément la musique classique. Your family has been very supportive. Your mother is here. Your sister, that, uh, who is a pianist, is here. And uh, I read that you had your first experience with uh, an orchestra. Uh, you were only eight. 
Uh, it's quite young. What do you prefer? To play chamber music, because you do a lot of chamber music with your sister, what do you prefer? Um, I enjoy playing all types of music, actually, because there's a lot of different things that you can learn from. For example, in the chamber music, it's really different to play with so many other musicians and playing alone, or with just piano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alors, elle aime beaucoup tous les répertoires, elle aime découvrir des répertoires. Uh, do you feel that, well, you're, you're a violinist, and there are a lot of violinists in the orchestra behind. Do you feel it? Do you feel it's uh, easier, there's a complicity between a soloist who is a violinist and the orchestra? Do you think it would be easier? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like with so many, so many violinists, violists, cellists, and etc. instruments together, it feels like there's, as you mentioned, a complexity in sound and more layers of color. Yeah. Alors, euh, le jeu sur les couleurs. Et puis, euh, ben, on va se tourner tout de suite vers notre panel. Alors, Jinju Cho. Lovely, Karina. Uh, it's really, really amazing playing, uh, certainly violinistically. I also love that you have so much energy in your sound. There is something that very captivating and engaging in the way that you generate the sound out of the instruments. So congratulations. Um, I think if, if I could make a small comment, I would say that, um, you know, whatever you're doing character-wise and color-wise, I think you're definitely aware of it. I would just say that, you know, in the words of Beethoven, exaggerate, exaggerate, exaggerate. And I think when the colors are faint and more dreamy, it could be even more so. And when it's intense and joyful and humorous, it could be even more so. So just, it's just a matter of expanding your spectrum and your range of expressions but congratulations, I really enjoyed it quite, quite a lot. May I ask you a question? What, what cadenza did you play? Ferdinand David's cadenza. I made some edits to it as well. Okay, great. Cadence de Ferdinand David. Et uh, Jinju lui dit, uh, encore une fois, c'est magnifique uh, ce qu'elle a fait. Et elle peut en donner encore davantage uh, dans, 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 dans l'expressivité. Elle peut laisser aller encore davantage dans le domaine des couleurs. Uh, Est-ce qu'on a d'autres commentaires? Uh, non, de nos membres du jury. Uh, bah écoutez, uh, c'est déjà magnifique. Alors, merci infiniment. Corinna Deng, mesdames et messieurs.